Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley B. Deck. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I've teamed up with Wild Angel to bring you this gorgeous bob and I'm so in love because it's a frontal, it's a nice short cut, it's a breath of fresh air it would also has the vibe to it like you guys know i've been doing a good amount of bobs lately and i love a good like straightforward sleek bob you know you can never go wrong with that but this one just came with so much body that i just had to just amp it up a little bit and give you guys like a little bit of a feather with it and i love 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 the way it came out you can also of course just do it straight and sleek as normal but again i just love the body and movement that came in it so i am going to have all the details and a direct link to this wig in the description box but for now let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial be sure to subscribe if you haven't already now let's get into it jumping right into it i'm going to put the wig on and not waste any time this is what this beautiful wig looks like on. I'm showing you a close-up of the hairline as well. And you guys can see the first thing I noticed is how much body this one has. I made the mistake of putting on some lip gloss. And you guys know wigs and lip gloss, bob wigs and lip gloss don't mix. Here I also showed you guys an inside construction of the cap. This is a 13 by 4 HD lace front wig and it is real HD lace. So I'm just going to go ahead and begin the customization process. The only customization we're going to do today for the most part is just cutting the excess lace around the ear, which is something that is like not a one size fit all. It literally is a custom fit to each head. The way I just cut mine off, it may not be the perfect size for you because we all have different size and shapes of heads. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and remove their excess lace. This can kind of be a one size fits all thing where we all just want all the excess this lace removed and not to cut into the hairline now that we've done that i'm just trying it on for size and seeing how it fits it definitely fits my head it's not too bulky it fits flat and flush on my head but it's a frontal so you do have to bond it down in some way or another i'm just going to use the yellow even product i get this from amazon and i'll have it linked in the description box and i just like to go ahead and work that in and then blow dry it in on a cool setting until it's completely dry now the wig is installed which makes it so much easier to style even when i wear my wigs glueless and they fit glueless it always just gives better baby hair baby, better install if it's installed because it really just lays flat and flush on the head like no other i did opt for baby hair on this one and i'm going super long and wispy with the baby hair so it's gonna, gonna give like a carefree vibe where they're not gonna be like c-shaped like baby hair swoops and more so just like frayed hair that just you know lost his way and just naturally pulled forward that's the vibe i'm going through or going for with this one if i did not mention this is a 10 inch bob and i do have some coupon codes in the description box if you're interested in this wig or any wig on wow angels site and you'll be able to get some money off also, ladies, if you haven't heard, the AliExpress summer sale is going on June 12th to June 18th. This wig is included in the sale, so you'll definitely be able to get a nice little discount on it. I'll have all the details on the sale in the description box. Um, as I also mentioned, this is a real HD lace wig, and she comes in 10 inch, 12 inch, 14 inch, as well as a 16 inch. I am rocking the 10 inch today, and then you can also switch up the density. You can go for 150 or you can go for 180. Either way, I think this one is reasonably priced and it's definitely a great price point, especially for such great quality hair and lace. Here I am just bumping the ends of the wig, applying heat to a already straight hair um, we will definitely soak it out and just add a lot more like sheen and bounce and body to the wig and I kind of just like flick the wrist when I get to the bottom and that's just literally how I like to do it when it comes to bumping my wig to give it more of a complete look you do want to chase it with a rat tail comb this is going to give you the most silky look ever without multiple heat passes 
Now we're going to opt for a center part. I was trying to work it out with no part at all, but honestly, the center part just looks best. This is four inches of parting space going backwards. So if you don't like the four inches, you can definitely do like a flip over. You guys seen all the looks that I did. Um, I'm definitely going to do a lot more of a feather bang look. So I wanted the center part um, to stamp it out and just to give it a more flawless look a more realistic look and just a lot more complete than if I was just to do like no parting um and just having it going everywhere I think it just looks a lot more complete with the center parting and I'm just still continuing to play in the hair making sure to bump the ends all the way around and then just flipping the hair um kind of like backwards to help to Form and save those feather bangs that I created now I know the feather bangs are not going to be for everyone I really like this look especially on longer hair but because I'm rocking a shorter unit today I still wanted to honor my true self and like my own personal taste and just give this one a a super nice vibe and I think I executed it well what do you guys think I'd love to hear your opinions in the description box also here I am just making sure the uh, baby hair is kind of going in a perfect carefree careless angle and then I'm going to add the uh, concealer to the parting I think I used concealer today and then I use a uh, foundation powder along the hairline and this is the Ruby Kisses 3D I believe this is the second to darkest shade color 15 um, but I am hitting pan so it is time for me to order a new one because it's just not giving the way I like it to nonetheless I made it work again because the palette is getting too empty now everything looks perfect I'm super in love with the way this one came out such a special girl and of course she's in the description box okay ladies so we are done with the look and i'm absolutely in love i've been doing a lot of bobs lately it's just been my thing it's just been my vibe so i'm happy to do this one with a little bit of a difference so this one here i did like the feather bang look so it's kind of like careless a little bit it's just that whole like <laughs> and you kind of just throw it behind your ear like that and do the little feather absolutely gorgeous and again one of my favorites at the moment um, this one did come from Wow Angel, and then this is their packaging. Inside, you do get some goodies. For example, you get a mail belt that just says Wow Angel on it. It's nice and soft and pretty, but it does say the Wow Angel logo all over. And then from here, you get a little goodie bag. And inside your goodie bag, you do get a pack of wig caps. Uh-oh. HD wig caps. A pair of lashes nice and natural I've been into natural lashes lately anyways I also have a edge brush a piece of elastic that you can use like as a melt belt or you know you can add it inside to make your wig fit a little bit more snug and then you also get a little scrunchie which is blue like my hoodie today super cute and of course you guys know Dakota is going to end up finding this and taking over the wig itself was super easy to install. Now, the one thing that I would um, advise or suggest is that you do bleach the knots. The knots did not come bleached on this one, and you guys seen at the very beginning, very beginning, what it looked like. If you look really closely, uh oh, you can kind of still see them. Um, but I did go ahead and conceal them as much as I can just to give it a little bit more of a natural vibe. So from here, if you're not in my face too much, you really can't tell at all, which makes it super easy for beginners. But again, this is your wig. So um, if you go ahead and purchase and this is something that you're going to keep for a long time. If you're nervous about bleaching your knots, you can definitely straight out of the box install it like I did. And then once you get a little bit more closer not closer but more comfortable with your unit you can always go back in and bleach the knots again it's an easy um i showed you guys an easy way to conceal those knots so it doesn't look um so spot on and so obvious especially because the knots are very nice and small and thin but again the possibilities and the options are yours now this one is a frontal so you guys did see i bonded it down typically if it's a closure i'll leave it glueless because this one actually does fit my head glueless but again when it's a frontal when it's you know here to here i feel 
comfortable wearing it glueless but when it's a whole frontal i do feel a little bit more secure when i bind it down especially if i want to have baby hair again no complaints at all with this one it's an absolutely beautiful cut and i love the body that came in it so that i can do things like this let me know what you guys think i'll have her linked in the description box and any questions you have about this unit or the install are answered in the description box thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe on your way out and rate this video if you can and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches